Hey guys, Silence here. here. Welcome back to another video of Utah My Cross with me. So let's talk about all the brand new episode plays, or rather there's only two episode plays of concern right now uh, since the new event has started, which is mainly the five star episode play, or rather you guys are uh, known it as uh, four star that is given in the uh, event itself. And of course, we have Cheryl Gnome's new five star episode play, or six star when it's fully evolved. Alright guys, so let's dive down into the gacha page right now. Um, yeah, we're gonna talk about Cheryl Gnome's uh, episode plate first. Okay, so as you can see straight away, um, whenever you enter the gacha page for the first time, whenever you boot up your game, you will see that they are promoting the main episode plate that can be obtained from the gacha itself. And of course, the wonderful stats that they, the game, or rather the developers are actually promoting. So as you can see, they are promoting center skill and of course the active skill. So let's take a look at the plate itself. Here we go. So Sharonom's plate has a total of three hundred, sorry, three thousand two hundred and fifty-one. Uh, and yeah, the highest points in the plate itself is voice at two thousand and ten, which is very very high. I think this is the first plate that has actually hit the um, 2000 range. Uh, so far in the past, we've only seen like 1009, and that's it. So, yeah, um, so App Cheryl Gnome's plate is focusing more on voice uh, with a fantastic S rank center skill. Basically, what it does is all the life element plates, or rather the blue, yeah, on the unit, uh, the total will be increased by 35%. So, uh, it is um, a specialized episode plate um, for the center diva. Um, yeah, so I don't really recommend it unless you're using it for high score achievements, um, especially if you want to increase your player rank on uh, blue element songs or in Inochi songs, life element songs, whichever one you want to call it by. Um, yeah, so this episode plate is kind of a specialization episode plate um, unless you're um, I would say a pro player that really focuses on such um, matters like high score I don't really recommend getting this episode plate so why do I say so is because well look on the second panel here the active skill at the it lasts for 10 seconds your score will be increased by 100% up so it the active skill can be used for uh, well, general use just to get a better score, um, but you know, as a life skill plate, you know it's not really there. So at the 75 second mark for 10 seconds, well, um, it's easier to press notes. So her plate generally is good for well challenges that um, make it difficult to press notes. Um, like the previous event so yeah but you know for a plate like this I wouldn't see yourself using it as a live episode plate um, because well it doesn't really justify um, having it equipped on the sidelines just for its life skill because there are definitely better plates with the same kind of life skill um, but probably at a longer lasting duration or you know, if you just want to see the um, the skills rank um, instead of like, thinking about all the numbers, you know, that's one way of looking at it. So anyway, guys, um, should you obtain Cheryl Gnome's episode play? Well, if you have the spare singing stones, go for it. Uh, uh, or if you're a Cheryl Gnome fan, definitely you want to have this in your collection. But in terms of a pro player, um, Cheryl Gnome's plate is kind of like a specialization episode plate. Um, it is not for general use. Well, although the active skill is generally useful, um, but you know there are plates out there with better stats um, in general usage, um, especially those that have like um, all rounded points in all three different types of um, score system. On the episode plate itself like you know soul voice and charm all well balanced out so for this plate it focuses on voice so it is generally used to uh, get a very good high score on songs that require 
voice uh, at its maximum. Uh, just like Lion that is currently going on uh, in Guta Macross event right now. So anyway guys, let's take a look at the second episode play, um, which we are going to talk about, which is the one given from the event itself. Okay guys, so let's take a look at the event's episode plate. At its 5 star level, um, its full amount of points is 1792, which is pretty low considering that it's a 5 star episode plate. Um, as you can see, it's well balanced, um, soul, voice and charm are almost about the same amount of points. Um, yeah, so if the points is not racking up to its uh, expectations, there has to be something good about the episode play, I guess. So let's take a look at the rest of the stats. Um, yeah, it's center skill, if you look, take a look at the top right hand corner of the image. Um, units total will be increased by 16% up. So the interesting thing here is the skill for its center is universal. Um, although it just specifically um, boosts the unit that it's equipped on. So, hmm, if it is tagged along with Sharonome's episode plate on maybe Sharonome itself, um, that will be a very interesting boost. So it's like, I don't know whether the stats will actually stack uh, with its skills being applied. So, yeah, so that's pretty interesting. So it's, imagine uh, Sharon Gnome's stats, um, the 35% if I'm not wrong. Uh, I'm not looking at Sharon Gnome's uh, image right now. I mean, the, the the details for that episode play. So if I'm, ju I'm just recalling from the back of my head. So I think it was 35%. So plus this current plate's um, center skill bonus at 16%. So that would be 35 and then a 16% on top of that. So that's pretty a big amount of boost. Um, considering that it's under the center skill. So because, yeah, they're all equipped to the center diva if Sharon Gnome, for example, is equipped with both of these episode plates in the center position itself. So there are a lot of stuff that we have not figured out. I haven't really gotten the time to go and experiment with all these statistics and all this. Uh, I really wish I could do it, but sadly to say, I don't have the time uh, as I have a full-time job. I wish I could do Uta Macross as a full-time thing. Well, maybe with your uh, you guys' help, I could do it. <laughs> so let's see how <laughs> in the future. All right, so um, active skill. Well, um, for 14 seconds, the damage is reduced by half. So that's pretty interesting. Um, the current event doesn't seem to have uh, any extra challenges that really does more damage to you. So I think the active skill is kind of redundant um, for this current event. So let's put that aside. Maybe in the future, this active skill might be useful. Um, it is a 5-star play. So in general, if you're going to use it for a ticketing event to obtain um, tickets from songs, maybe there are some songs that seem to have very, very uh, quick time or rather quick finger pressing uh, notes and require you to sustain certain amount of HP at the end you know for missions and all that um, this episode play eventually might be useful for such scenarios alright so let's take a look at life skill alright for when your life hits 55% and below um, you'll recover 14% of your HP so its life skill is generally useful um, when it comes to challenges that uh, require you to survive with a certain amount of HP at the end of the life. So still, this episode plate is not entirely useless, um, but sadly to say on the score point, this episode plate is kind of uh, redundant. Um, but in terms of the skills for the active skill and the life skill, I think it's still generally usable in certain uh, events or scenarios. So this episode plate is not a total flop yet. Alright, so as you can see, the four divas that I can equip with this episode plate. Um, so do take note, sometimes, you know, the divas are an important part of um, having a good setup. Um, maybe to achieve certain goals or scoring, you know, that kind of thing. But normally, nobody will use a 5-star plate to actually achieve a high score 
uh, achievement, you know, because generally a six star episode played um, will do a better job than a five star episode played. Um, so yeah, and sadly to say, this episode played has no special notes, just like the Cheryl Gnome episode played, um, which I forgot to show you guys. Uh, Cheryl Gnome's episode played actually doesn't have any special notes attached to it as well so that's one of the reasons why i say uh, if you don't have the spare singing stones to pull Sharon notes episode plate i think it's okay to give it a pass unless you really really want Sharon Gnome's new costume so yeah we will talk about that later on um which is now so let's take a look at Sharon Gnome's costume which is called cross over moon which is a very interesting name um it is supposed to be designed after the moon so i guess that's why you've got the gray and black um color designs like the shadow on the moon and its original surface that is grayish so anyways let's toss the design aside and let's talk about how useful the costume is actually in terms of gameplay so looking at it it actually helps boost voice by 10% up. So that's pretty useful in terms of this current event, which focuses on the voice aspect of the episode play itself. So if you have any events uh, in the future that really requires voice um, boost, you know, in points, you know, this costume is definitely going to be useful. So you can actually have Sharonome in mind uh, as a diva setup for a high score event challenge or maybe even to boost your own personal high score on the live uh, tabs of each Macross generation that you want to tackle at uh, getting a better player rank for yourself and of course unlocking all those special goodies with uh, those player rank level ups Alright, so that's about it for all the unlockables or rather episode plates and stuff that is currently new for this event. Um, and we're gonna go straight into pulling the gacha itself. Uh, sadly to say, I only have enough for a 10 uh, single uh, episode plate pool. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully on this new, new account, um, the luck will be better because I have not actually pulled any gachas uh, on this new reroll account, uh, you know, because the last three reroll accounts um, they didn't do too well. So hopefully, this particular account might have a better luck. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're gonna dive straight into the gacha. Uh, like I said before, <laughs> repeating myself in different sections is really hilarious. Anyways, um, you guys know what we are supposed to see. Uh, when we want something good. So I won't repeat myself, let's just go straight into it um, because I think I've said it countless of times. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with it, uh, maybe it's time for you to go, uh, go back and watch some of my older videos on pulling gachas. So anyways <laughs> guys, hopefully we see um, what we really want in this current pool. Uh, especially since this is like my fourth reroll of a brand new account that they haven't had very much luck like what I am currently seeing right now on the screen. That's just terrible. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so no evolution of the plates uh, happening, so that's kind of sad. Alright, let's just skip all this nonsense. Oh my goodness. This is just terrible. I hope you guys have better luck than any of my brand new accounts. God, this is horrendous. Uh, where's my last red color box? Hopefully, uh, it gets evolved. No, it doesn't. Okay, so not even any new plates, I guess, that has uh, Cheryl's new costume. Uh, it is a new account, so you. Oh, there is a plate that has Cheryl's new costume. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe it's this one. I think it's this one. Yeah. Oh well. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys have better luck than this, uh, because this is really, really atrocious. I mean, four new accounts and none of them actually had any um, five-star plates popping up, uh, especially on their first row of uh, new gacha. 
Uh, so, yeah, hopefully if you guys actually create an account and your first gacha pool uh, of any kind, even for the beginner's gacha right beside here, like this one, um, which I haven't done on my main account as well. <laughs> uh, hopefully, if you guys have a good pool off the bat uh, with 5 star plates, at least one 5 star plate appearing, I think that account is keeper, uh, unlike the results that I've currently had with 4 new accounts and none of them actually had 5 star plates. So yeah guys, uh, hopefully you've got better luck than my brand new account and managed to pull off uh, Cheryl Gnome's episode plate from the gacha itself or maybe, who knows, even older 5 star plates uh, that might actually evolve your uh, current on hand 5 star plates into a 6 star or maybe even unlocking secret bots for those 6 star plates which is also fantastic um, do not do not I repeat myself I don't know how many times I've said this in my older videos please do not feel bad whenever you pull a repeated gacha or rather repeated episode plate um, in this game repeated stuff has very good use um, for events so yeah so don't feel bad about pulling repeated stuff yes I know it's kind of sad where you don't get the new costume and all that stuff but you know because of the free daily gacha pools um, well you can actually eventually unlock all the costumes available in the game uh, just at a much slower pace than everybody else but that doesn't mean it is the end of the world so <laughs> hey guys thank you guys so much for watching um, yeah, if you like what you see and hear, as always, do subscribe for more Utah Macross content or maybe whatever I do on my YouTube channel um, that's coming in upcoming months. Uh, I do do other gameplay other than Utah Macross. Uh, if you look through my channel's video listings, there are see some evidence of gameplays of other games other than Utah Macross. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm actually planning to come back um, onto my channel with more gameplays, more general games other than Ulta Macross in the future. So I look forward to that. Until then guys, I will see you guys in the next Ulta Macross video. Bye!